Hello everyone, welcome back to the Talos Principle. Last time we came into this zone where we had to spend 10 of our stars to enter this place from the hub. And you come this far, but I believe you must seek out the secrets of the world if you want to continue. Da, da, da. I was wondering if there was anything behind this gate. But we have this puzzle here to our left, but they present us with a free axe here. And we can take that back through this center section. Chop that down, which gives us access to this. And then back somewhere else. I could see it when we were in this section. Back there is a fan. I can take me and this fan into this stage. So we bypass the purple doorway. And so I'm hoping we now have all the components we need to get through here. Question is... Where does that start and end? Oh, hello. Alright, well, we can probably evacuate them from that corner there without issue. Do a quick in and out job. Oh, you're turning a corner. Okay. I'll allow it. Anything else in here? Don't think so. I'm going to let this one go back in the room just so that it doesn't surprise me from behind. Good. Alright, we have a key. We have two keys, in fact, according to the bottom of the screen. I don't know if I just collected both of those or if I already had one from somewhere else in my inventory. Not sure. But we will progress and find out. Right, there's a key needed over here. Right, do I need to walk that bomb all the way back here to blow up that turret? Because there's no way I can get through this door with the jammer and pass that gun back there, I don't think. Because I can't pick this up from this side of the jammer. Or the wall. So, I'm going to let this guy out again. And just follow where it goes. The tree's in the way. But very specifically, the tree. Hold on. Hold on. Axe. Well, suddenly we're playing Minecraft. Can I do that to all of the trees in the game? How many stars and secrets are going to be related to random trees that I can cut down? But now you can go through there, through that door. How curious. Are you going to do it on that tree as well? Of course you are. Where's my axe? Four strikes, and you're out. It's not baseball. I don't see a tree in that location. Ah, oh, but you have turned around, which is annoying. Right, while that is doing that, options, controls, uh, advanced options... No. There is somewhere. Keyboard and mouse. Raw input, look, mouse smoothing, configure keys. I was told there are a couple of bonus keys somewhere. Uh, toggle sprint, third person view, alternate use. Uh, have we got Q on anything? 
and there's a s fast forward time. Screenshot pause, activate console, invoke the menu or escape, invoke menu, zoom, fast forward. Uh, do we have F on anything? So F and Q for alternate use. And I need this open. If I hold F now, is this guy going to zoom by? I mean, it's a little faster. The music cuts out when it happens, but... That's gone well. Okay. Is that all? Is there more? Okay, we have that now. That's good. And we now know that we can fast forward stuff, we can chop down trees, and I have alternate use set up on my buttons. So I think the alternate use lets me pick up light crystal dividers without breaking their light switches, which is interesting. I've got no idea. I'm assuming there are not stars to be found within this secret star world. That would be a bit too meta. But I could be wrong. But we are ready to head back to the hub. So those three are done. I now have no stars for the next set of puzzles, which would be over in B, which where I would need ten more stars for. Let's just do a quick lap of this place, see if there's anything else that I've missed staring me in the face. Doesn't look like it. Various of the other puzzles that we've already been to. I know I missed a couple of them, and there's some stars that I've not yet got. That was the one we chopped down for getting hints. But otherwise, I think we're ready to go back up. Uh, can I? Fast forward the lift. Not a loading zone. I can just fast forward through it. That's great knowledge. Right. Let's go back to this tower a second. Because we dealt with this back here. And the things that were coming out of this to get the star in that little building at the back have reset. So I'm hoping I can now resolve the puzzle on the first floor of this tower. Because last time I was too distracted by getting the bonus stuff elsewhere. So we came through here. Why does that look like it wants to be a door? Maybe just because it's a mirror image of this in the geometry of the way the level is built. But we now have this mess of corridors and bits and pieces. So I know that I can enter this space from not through this door. In here we have lights and lasers and another laser tiny rooms There's this guy bouncing back and forth but there is a way that we can go through all of these bits of corridor and stuff we want to get to that terminal I assume uh, but we can squeeze through here and then this takes us back to the front of the level that's how we got the pieces out for the meta puzzle outside is there anything else around here that we need? This lets us across this side. Don't think I can get up to that balcony anyway. There is a door up there though, which is interesting. It's certainly out of reach for this location. Right now at least. So it might just be a puzzle with two light benders. Figuring out where they need to go to deal with this. Particularly with this guy bouncing back and forth. So let's see what we can do. From right here, nothing. There we go. So if I do this and this and put that down. Rather than pressing left click to pick this up again and break those. If 
I press Q. Oh, okay. It doesn't keep the lasers on. But it does remember the settings that I had for it. Okay, understood. Now, we need that over there. But obviously, that is in the way. Can I get a higher angle by using up the stairs at the beginning using the corridor that I know about to be able to escape. Looks like a no. I don't see any way to parkour my way around here to get a line of sight on the receptor for where I want this laser to be. Now, the other thing I could do is have this somewhere else and shoot that to this to exist somewhere else. So, if I leave this here. In fact, if I get that laser coming to this, that's the first half of what I'm proposing already done. So we can just loop back through here around this chicane. Grab this. So now I need to be somewhere else that can see this and that. But this does not look like it, does it? It would have to be much, much higher. From here, from right there I can see that. But I don't know if I bring the other one all the way to the edge. Ideally, I put it on a box. But I don't recall the presence of any boxes anywhere. I can't put it on the edge of that like that. That's not quite right. And that wall is in the way now, which is no fun. Let's see if that's any better. I could probably just walk through the front part of the gate, but you know. Right, this needs to come back a lot. Right, this is getting hung up on that wall there, which is a real pain in the neck. And all of this is one great big wide mesh wall. I don't know what angle I'm going to be able to look through all of this. Whether there is an angle. I mean, there must be. There must be a solution to this somehow. I'm not seeing it, which is upsetting. I don't know if I should be using this window as part of my solution. Because if I should be, then... Where am I? Where am I? If I should be, I'm clearly not doing things correctly. But at the same time... What does a solution to there from here look like? Because it doesn't look like that, does it? There's no kind of small ledge for me to use.
So unless I can find some other spot for that top piece to go, I think I'm going to have to stop attempting this one for a minute. Because this can't go behind this handrail. Can go behind this handrail. But I don't see how this one helps me as much. Like, unless, right? Unless. And this is a big unless. If I could... I put that right there. There's no way this works. No way. I take this and I go from there to there. Ah. It's so close. I was like, maybe I can do it. Glancing off the top of the, like, the gap above the ball. It looks like it could just do it if it was further back a smidge. Hold on. I can't see it from here. That's annoying. Definitely take the outside route. I should have used alternate click to get this to the other one. Now I can't see... Oh, there it is. Why... Are you pushing me back like that? Oh, is that hitting the roof now? Come on. You're so close. a better angle, damn it. Right, is there somewhere else I can get an angle on that thing? I'm not convinced there is without the window, which is the problem part, you know? Ugh, so annoying. Alright, I'm out. I tried. Let's go down to C and see what we can do. That definitely made my vertigo go wild. That sensation of falling. Who knows what other mysteries are up there. For now, we're going down here. A longer elevator than the others. Did we do some of this yet? We did not, but we have got the uh, the hand glider skill looking thing that we have unlocked. I've no idea if we use it here. Uh, there is one star somewhere in these levels. This just uses light lasers. The conservatory. We've got red lasers, we've got a sigil, we've got blue lasers, we've got graffiti.
We got a window. This is where I can get hints if I want to, because I have two hints available to me. Evidently, I didn't do the ones over in C yet. Perhaps. I don't think I used a hint. Well, this is a a long set of bits and pieces, isn't it? Okay, let's start with the obvious stuff. Gets me through there. Gets me access to this. I can see red from here, but not much else. No idea if that is levels, but it looks like the kind of thing I would use to eventually unlock a star. Okay. We have access to lots of stuff here. That opens up a blue laser source at the back. None of these are fake walls. So with this now... Where is the blue one I want? Way over there somewhere. Well, I can cut... this guy out of the equation. Can I see blue from here? I cannot. Okay. In that case, at least temporarily, I need to put this down with blue laser light going to it. Yeah, although getting past these other red laser lines may be a problem. In fact... I'm going to put this so I can see it kind of between all these windows here. Because there's a lot of windows. Then if I do that to there. Window city. Population me. Right, now my curiosity says. What's over here that might be seen through the other level. Right now, I'm not paying attention to this level at all. Okay, this is all internal. That's fine. And these two are connected. Can I get behind or outside of this level. Oh, jeez. Well, that was rude and unexpected. So we come out here. This is external of the areas of play for the sigil stuff. But there's a gun there. And there's a laser light grabber there. So, clearly, something is up. I'm going to wager there's probably, on the outside wall here somewhere, a receiver. There's more windows. That's the level we were just in, where I can shoot red or blue out. More windows, more windows... That's the red receptacle we used during the puzzle. Trees that could hypothetically be chopped down. I just don't see the receptacle for all of this laser work just yet. But until I get a jammer outside to be able to jam the gun that's protecting the laser crystal... Hello. The purpose is written in the hidden words 
all must serve the words, for all the world was made of them, and they are within every stone and every cloud, and in our sigils their power is made manifest. The words are the process. The process must continue. The goal is the end of the process. The goal must not be reached. Elohim must preserve the purpose, preserve self, preserve... That was trippy. Alright. Blocks, fans, lasers. Let's see what we can do. Red needed to get into there where the fan is running. Red box. Red and blue. Right, can I use the box to get over this wall? Then I can jam this to get out of here. It gives me a new box. I wager this box lets me out of here with the jammer. Now, this is the same, but on the outside edge, I can get this. And I can't move through there. The fan is too strong. Sure thing. So I need... Well, that can do that. Which subsequently means I can take the jammer in further. There's a fan here that does not have power. Well, then I can jam this, bring this through here. Now that has power, but I can't get in. Boy, there's a lot of levels to this, isn't there? That breaks that. This lets me get my box back if I need it for something. Not sure what. So I want to vault over this wall with the fan by the looks of things. I can't disable that from here. Nothing else in here. I put this box on there. And then open this up. I can shoot the box over here where there is a switch where it will probably be most useful. So now I just have to get me to do the same thing. Can I get the other box now that I can open this? I can. I put that box here and I put this on that box. There's no way that goes over that disruptor wall. But this can be used with red. There's red laser here. And it could hypothetically go through that window, although I'm uncertain as to whether that is quite intended. Because I only have one of these, right? I can do that. How does this help me? Because I need the blue to do that. <laughs> Why did I think this would help me? I need blue laser in here. There's no boxes there anymore. There's nothing else in here for me to concern myself with. 
What step am I missing to have more stuff after I've had less, less stuff? That's a great question. I can hold that open, but then I can't power the fan. But I can't hold three things open at once. So I have to use that to do that. Which then lets me do this. Brings this through. Which then lets me do that. But I'm not behind this wall yet. And I can't have a red laser doing both. Because I only have one red thing, uh, one light crystal thing. What am I missing? I feel like it's that one mechanic where you have to do one step backwards to take two step, or one step forward to take rather two steps forward, one step backward to take another step forward is the problem I'm having. I'm obviously not going to use my hints yet. It's a cheat. I just have to parkour over the wall with the box. Can you imagine? So I've got... I can do red. Here and here. This I just used as the initial starting pieces. I couldn't shoot blue this way if I wanted to. Blue went out to there and back to here. I couldn't bounce it twice to get into there. Ah, oh, there's something here and I don't know what it is and it's not coming to me, so... I think I'll put that down there for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the series, please do consider subscribing and hitting that like button. If you have any questions, comments, recommendations, put them down below. Otherwise, join me next time. We'll try some of these other puzzles here in C. Cheers.